G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we are looking at May the 1st uh, Lion Sums by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our sellers here at Gas HQ, so am I. Uh, my name is Bill Murphy. Uh, Philip Newman is all around. Uh, you know, he's omnipotent, but he's not here today. Um, so, uh, who are we? What do we do? Uh, well, we are the gas team. We set genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, new one every day. That's about it. They're free. You can find them on YouTube. The link to this puzzle's in the description. Yeah, that's about it, really. Um, along in the description, you'll find hat times. Two hats is for a very quick time. One hat is for a pretty quick time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, but yeah, uh, that's about it. That's that's my opening spiel. Um, so uh, let's let's get into the puzzle. So this is line sums. So normal Sudoku rules play each box, each row, and each column uh, must contain the dudes one to nine once each. Now along each marked line, uh, one of the digits is the sum of the remaining digits. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't really want to go into the example because I would like uh, you to have a go, but if you're going to stick around, I'll hit the reset timer just so we can keep track of how long this video is taking me. Um, and let's get into it. Now, um, for this video, the same trick, uh, the same bit of logic is um, just keeps appearing. So what I'm going to do is rather than uh, explain that bit of logic every single time, I'm just going to uh, show you how to do it once and then you can spot it. So for most of these lines, the way that Clover has built this puzzle is um, there are only two possible ways to do this. Either five is the biggest number or five is not the biggest number. So uh, if five is not the biggest number on this line, five plus two uh, must equal seven, but we have a seven there. So five must be the biggest number. So five, uh, five is equal to two and three. Um, we can do that logic basically around this whole grid. Uh, seven and one, it's either eight or six. We've got a six down here. So it's eight. Um, six and two is either four or eight. We've got a four there. So this must be eight. Uh, four and one is either five or three. We've got a five up here. So this is three. Uh, let's go around. Uh, let's go around the inside now. Um, eight and one is either seven or nine. Seven's down here, so that's nine. Uh, two and three is either five or one. We can't quite do that one just yet, but we do know that one must go there. Um, there's a one and a one. So um, five and one. Uh, it's either four or six. Six here tells us which way this goes. Seven and two is either five or nine. This five goes, uh, tells us that this must be nine. Um, now, eight. Eight has to be the biggest number because um, we already have a nine there. So we can't put a one on the line. Similarly, one can't go on the line because of those two. So uh, it can't be... So what is this line? Well, in a really cute bit of logic, there are three ways to make eight in two cells. There is one seven, because both of these see that cell. Um, this can't be one seven, because we have a three and a five here. Um, it can't be that either, because how would I put a one, three, five, or seven on there? So this must be two and six. Uh, this two tells us which way around this goes. Uh, one and five. Oh, yeah, sorry. Six. What is this six? Well, if this is two here and this is two here, then we cannot put a two on this line. So we can't make this two four, meaning it must be one and five. One. Oh, no. Is that right? Hang on. What am I missing? Ah. Um, mm, mm hmm. Okay, uh, I got ahead of myself for two seconds. Um, this is some tricksy nonsense from uh, the Elder Fey God Clover. Um, so this is a little bit fancy. I think this might have been the piece of logic that Clover didn't necessarily like. Uh, but here we go. Uh, 
Um, I know what this line is. And before you're like, Bill, how can you possibly know what this line is? Let's break this one down. This is probably my favorite bit of logic in this whole puzzle. Um, it's been a while since I tested this, which is why I don't quite, uh, don't, didn't quite catch it the first time around. For the record, there is probably some Sudoku I can do in this grid right now. As an example, that's five, that's nine. Uh, this is four and six. Yeah, but um, I don't need any of that to do this. So what is this line now the question is if this is six um if six is six the biggest number because if it's not um well i guess it must uh we must be looking for a bigger number now let's have a look see okay so um six can it either be one five or two four if this is two if it's two four well that would break because both two sees both of those cells if this is one five well that doesn't work there because uh you know one and five uh see that cell uh the other reason why it didn't work even before i did that sudoku is if i do if i put a one and a five like this then what's this uh, this three and this two, um, because I can't put a one there. Otherwise, uh, because now I have no nothing to put on that line and I can't put a five there because I have nothing to put on that line. So six must be not the biggest number, meaning we need to put a bigger number on this line. Well, I can't put seven, eight or nine in this cell. So whatever this is has to go down there. Now, this six, uh, then what's this cell? Well, the biggest it can be is three, but it can't be three and it can't be two. So this must be one and this must be seven. Woo! Um, nothing in this puzzle needed to be that hard. Um, I just thought it was a really cute bit of logic that got me very excited when I test solved this. Um, if you're having some difficulties with today's puzzle, uh, blame me. I was the one who told Clover that this puzzle was great and she should post it. Um, I'm just going around the grid now. Uh, this is, well, I've got three and seven left to place. Uh, three and seven tolls. Which way around this goes? Three and seven. Uh, this is two. Uh, because three sees this cell, this must be a seven. Um, seven, five. We'll just clean up our grid a little bit. Uh, three and one, meaning this has to be either two or four. Two sees this cell, so it must be four uh three four and nine to place here uh we can definitely place the three uh this is four or nine uh, uh eight in box six can only go in one spot um this is either six or nine but i don't quite know which way around that goes um all right uh six must go up here, meaning this is two and nine. Not two and nine, uh, eight and nine, sorry. Uh, meaning this is five and this is seven and nine. I do know which way around that goes. That's nine, that's seven. Uh, four and six and nine and four and nine. Uh, one, three and six left to place in this box. Can't quite do that just yet. Uh, four and eight in row three, meaning four has to go there, eight has to go there. This is two, three and nine. Uh, ooh. Eight and nine, I missed that. Uh, six and eight to place here. The six up there tells us which way around this goes. Uh, two, nine, that's nice. Uh, five and seven. And this is one, three and six. Take three out of there, take six out of there. All right. Um, and uh, very, very useful piece of information. So where does eight go in box five? Uh, eight must be on the line. Now that I know that eight, oh, no, you more, oh, no, hang on, four and one, cool. Okay, I was like, uh, where does one go? 
and I was panicking for two seconds because I was like, eight plus one makes nine. But then I remembered that uh, one doesn't necessarily have to be the biggest number on the line. Two and six, seeing this cell, meaning and one in the box already, tells us that this can't be one, seven, or two, six, so it must be three, five. This five here tells us which way around this goes. And with that, we are just onto the regular old Sudoku of the deal. Um, hope you had a lovely day. Uh, my day was pretty good. Um, but, you know, it's been a pleasure to solve this Sudoku for you. This has been May 1st, 2024's Line Sums by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy, last time I checked. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, no matter how long is left in it. And I will catch you next time.